Gothic remake. I know, I know, I know. There, this is, okay. In 2001, a legendary game series was born, Gothic. In 2019, the series became part of THQ Nordic as a huge fan of the uh, original game began thinking and experimenting about what we could do with it. While exploring ideas, we realized that Gothic is still iconic, but simply doing a remake wouldn't work. Therefore, we tried a new approach, reimagining the whole thing. To be sure that this is the way to go, we decided to approach the situation in a totally unique way. We want to give you an early prototype of the game and ask for your thoughts and feedback. We want to make this game great for you. When we started thinking about the possibility of doing a gothic remake, we immediately thought about the amazing atmosphere the original game delivered. When we played the original gothic again, we realized how outdated certain aspects would be perceived nowadays. There are obvious things like the UI controls and combat system that weren't even praised back in the day, although some of our team had a soft spot for those when they first played it. Among other things that we wanted to revamp and enhance uh, the immersion and believability of the game. But how could we add a new spin on those elements but maintain and strengthen the rough original atmosphere? we tell you the same old story but adding some new situations and some new places to make it more believable this is a one hour long playable teaser of this new approach and with it we want to get your thoughts welcome to the colony again thq barcelona oh man here we go the Kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm had to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. Chris, so everyone can download this. To make it mm -hmm. impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom. I think you to need to own a, a THQ product, and then you get it for free. Around the entire valley. But something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Corinius. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed in exchange of tons of ore until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. He did not know, but he would change everything. Sure, Christo. Mm -mm -mm. Is this a remake of the first game? Yes, this is a this is a remake prototype of Gothic One. Low risk, high return. They don't even know if they're going to develop it yet. This is just them testing the waters. Of course. Now it's just you and me, my friend. No weapons, no food, just a simple scroll. What's happening down there? What the? Oh, that was close. Oh, shit. Sounds like you landed in water at least. That's good. <laughs> Never played Gothic 1? I played Gothic 1 like way back in the day. I have not played it in the last 15 or 20 years. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn it. There is some water there. What the hell just happened? 
in one piece. Oh, thank God, no blood. Oh, where's the scroll? Oh, it's all right. Great, okay. Let's move on. Oh. 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 Right, okay. Um, right. Right. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Let's light this up. Right, oh. right. Uh. 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 Oh, good. That'll do. Uh -huh. Right, where are right. we? What a mess. What's going on here? All right, right. Go on, go. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Pretty. Can I loot any of this stuff? I don't think so. Hmm. Right, right, right. I guess this is the elevator? Yeah. Can I swing this? No, I can't seem to do anything yet. Right. What's up, buddy? My son's calling me again. Oh, I think my wife just called him, though. So we'll give him just a minute here. Is this another elevator? Oh, it's a backup elevator. Cool. Wait, wait, we should go left? Oh, no, we should go right, 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 right. Dude, what is up with that lens flare? Keep in mind, guys, this is a prototype of a potential game. So bugs, design decisions, going on? all that stuff is it, it doesn't even doesn't even matter. Oh, shit. It's just it's just a proof of concept. Oh god damn it. Let's get the hell out of here. And so far, I'm really digging it. I could totally play a game like this in the gothic world, for sure. Right. Oh my god, what the hell? In this place, some people's luck is worse than mine. Let's see. I'll leave it here for a moment. What? Right. You don't mind if I take this with me, do you? I need it more than you do at the moment. Come on, my pretty. Come with me. Oh, God damn it. Shit. It's broken. Well, this is better than nothing, I guess. And this is as far as I've played this so far. Once I made sure it worked, I exited out here, so everything past here is new. But what the hell? What are you? Okay, easy boy. Let's make it easy for both of us. Okay, okay, calm down. Worst prison ever. Definitely. Really? I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Worst prison ever. Way harsh, Ty. Way harsh. This was not in the brochure. Where'd it go? Did it run off, I guess? I guess. Okay. Yeah, he talks to himself a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this doesn't look good at all. No. No, the talking doesn't. Oh, Jesus, dude. 
Mm. That's a lot of gore. What the hell? Oh god, are those as intense? Oh. Damn, man, what a mess. Oh god. Oh, come on. Oh, please, it can't be real. Hello, you've already had your time, right? Then I'll be on my way. I won't be bothering you. Okay, okay, easy now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, let me go. Don't make me hurt you. Well, you guys ask for this. Okay, is this going to be the combat? Alright, Gothic 1 combat was... Not it's a stance system? Move left mouse to change your pose. You can attack or block in three different directions. These attacks can be formed from left to right, right to left, or forward. Fast attacks use a little stamina and are useful when counterattacking enemies. Although they do only moderate damage, chaining several together can inflict significant harm. Strong attacks cost more stamina, take a moment to reach full power before they can be performed, but will inflict critical damage on an enemy they hit. When an enemy attacks you, if your stance direction matches their attack, then that attack will be automatically blocked. Uh, dodging allows you to perform a short dash in any direction. Okay. Um, mods. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Thank you. Okay. Alt switches between target enemies. Okay. And move mouses to change those. Okay, here we go. Oh, I auto block. Oh, it's showing me everyone's attacks too. Oh my god! How do I get my stamina? Back? Oh, it takes a huge amount of stamina to block. Ooh. Also, I don't know what's up with the screen shake. That seems a little. Oh. What are you waiting for? Have you had enough? <laughs> oh, we did. We did. Mm -mm. It was a good run. How you use a rapier. You're still alive. Love you guys. Have a great time. Congratulations on surviving your first day. Done. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Oh, good morning. Yes, I believe I did. Although I don't remember very much of what happened yesterday. You discovered the local fauna. Those beasts are very violent at night. Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Better than you, eh? Their meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. By the way, okay. we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego, and I'm the leader 
of the shadows in the old camp. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's not important. <laughs> You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say anyway. I'm gonna call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, Rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. Normally, rookies come in here with scrolls listing their crimes. <laughs> that legal formality is meaningless here. It doesn't matter what crimes you committed outside. You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> if you live long enough. The animations are kind of on point. Yours, on the other hand, is special. It's red and carries a lacquered seal. It's a scroll intended for mages. Hey, the fire mages. Ooh. Uh. What to do? What should I do with the scroll? Well, Rookie, there are things more dangerous than wild animals in this place. For example, the ambition of many prisoners and how little other people's lives are worth. In your place, I'd keep my mouth shut until I found one of the majors. Although in your situation, <laughs> that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle of the old camp. The only way people can get in are Gomez's men. So, now you know. If you want to find them, first, you'll have to join the old camp. Hey, There's Simon. There's no other way. Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, rookie? Nope, I just want to run around. Help. Why'd you help me? Why did you help me? You were in trouble, and I happened to be passing by. Call it honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie. And my job is to give you rookies an opportunity. Look, rookie, the colony is very dangerous. And even more so at night. Never leave the camps without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have the curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. He speaks but weird. But I won't always be around to help you. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, the scavengers were about last night. Did you see the attack on the He lift? talks really slow, and then there, there are these pauses in the dialogue. Like he will wait for a second before continuing the exact same sentence. And it's like, okay. Uh, I did see those. I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Yes, I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Hmm. Very Diego will remember this? Really? Okay. We're still investigating what happened and who was responsible. I think your testimony might be valuable. When we reach the old camp, you should speak to Gomez. I'm sure he'll be very interested in hearing what you have to say. What you have to say. Thank you, Diego Chatner. Uh, the colony. So what do I need to know about this place? 
Let's start with the basics. We call it the colony, and we produce ore for the king. At least that's what we do at the old camp. Inside the barrier, there are three camps. And if oh, here we go. Life, here we go. You'll have to join one of them. The old camp is the largest and oldest of the three. And, well, part of my job is also to tell the new arrivals that it's the best place for them. Other camps. And what about the other camps? <laughs> Listen, rookie. Alongside the old camp, the new camp and the sect are nothing more than carnivals of mayhem and looting. In the old camp, you'll encounter people from those places who can better explain to you how things work here. As for me, I'll just tell you that the people in the new camp are a bunch of thieves and no scruples. And the people in the sect are all madmen, obsessed with certain herbs. <laughs> we As call it see, the ganja. I'm speaking from a position of absolute impartiality. <laughs> Find the old camp. How do I find the old camp? Take this path. Past the clearing with the old tree, there's a guard post. And an abandoned mine. If you go through it, you'll get to the old camp. Let's do that. However, the door is closed for security reasons until I issue the order to open it. I'll go there after breakfast. You can come with me. If you want. Sure, let's do that. Does this have something to do with the old game gothic? Okay, uh, quick heads up for anyone joining us. This is a prototype alpha of a potential gothic one remake. So basically what THQ Nordic did is they said, hey, we're thinking of remaking gothic one. If we were going to do that, then it would probably look like this, except it would actually be well-made, bug-free, you know, the cape wouldn't be clipping through the, the table. You know, th this is just, again, a super early proof of concept. Um, but basically, they're kind of testing the waters. They're saying, like, do you guys want this? Do you like it? Um, so that's that's kind of where we are now. Earlier, you mentioned someone named Gomez. Kind of like PT was, yes. Who is he? Yes. Gomez is the leader of the All Barons. He's the head of the old camp. The most Except for powerful horror games. man in the colony. He's responsible for guaranteeing the ore shipment to the king and maintaining order. Yeah, it should say it's not really a re well inside this barrier. It's not really a remake, it's more of a reimagining. He's rather yeah. peculiar. Well, a man of refined tastes and expensive indulgences. I mean, if, if you're going to call the Final Fantasy you'll 7 remake I mean, a remake, I guess this is a gothic when remake. You get to know him. Yeah. I mean, the Final Fantasy VII remake is really nothing like Final Fantasy VII, but they're, we're calling it a remake. So I, I think we can do the same thing with this one. And the RE2 is another good example. RE2 is The RE2 remake is completely different from RE2. So, yeah. Like, they don't... They do, I mean, the camera alone the is completely camp. different. What do I have to do? That would be wonderful news. I'm Think a remake? About it. You should go to the castle gate. There. You'll find a man called Thorus. Tell him I sent you. Okay. Thorus isn't the friendliest person on the planet. I would say I'm more a reimagined. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, not really a remake. He'll tell you who you have to win more over to be accepted. Uh, Q to go back. Okay.
Goodbye. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Hey, you showed promise in the fight. But that's not going to do much good without a weapon. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here and the camps. It would be folly to travel unarmed. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone, near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful there. When you get a decent weapon, come back and we'll go to the old camp together. Cool, let's do it. What am I liking? Am I liking this so far? I'm, dude, I'm really liking this so far. Here, here's the way I look at it. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of people say that they got lots of problems with this, that they don't like the direction and everything. But honestly, like, sure, it may be a little janky and obviously it needs a lot of work, but I would love to be able to kind of replay the Gothic One story in a new day and age. So I, I am. I am a hundred percent on board with this. Um, like I'm completely on board with this. And I mean, when it comes down to it, um, you know, there, there's lots of people saying like, no, I don't like it. It's like, that's cool if you don't like it, but don't, don't make the decision for other people. You know, even if it, even if you don't like this, you prefer Gothic one and you don't like it. That doesn't mean you should be like, it shouldn't be remade. Like, no, just shut up. <laughs> Let it get remade and let the people who want to enjoy it, enjoy it. And then you just don't play it. But it's really weird because I saw some people like THQ tweeted out, like, here's the thing. Let us know if you like it. And I literally saw people replying going, you know, this is really going to take away from the original Gothic. I, I don't think that you guys should make this. And it's like, you, you don't like it. So you don't think it should be made? What? shut up <laughs> don't don't like don't be that guy just shut up just go play something else and don't you know if there are people that want to see it remade let them enjoy it <laughs> don't don't try to like don't try to get it not remade you know like that's so that's so freaking dumb um anyway okay hit sprint to move faster or shift to move faster certain actions like sprinting or attacking consume stamina okay press c to crouch uh race to decline ledges and oh there's a quick menu cool okay what is that tab okay yeah yeah again everyone has their opinion and if you don't if you don't want to play it <laughs> that's totally okay but i mean don't don't gatekeep the remake you know what i mean don't be like well i i don't think it's a worthy gothic successor so it probably shouldn't be made like, why 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 <laughs> i i can tell you there's at least one person that wants it remade and we'll play it so there's one guy at least um but yeah. Oh! My bad. Take all. Okay. Okay, we can go up here. Down there. Do I have a map? Oh, look at all that stuff. I like all the, the highlights. That's pretty cool. So now we know there's three things up here I want. Don't yuck someone else's yum is what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. Don't yuck someone else's yum, dude. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean there's lots and lots of people out there that do like it. Don't yuck other people's yum. That's a good way to live life, for the record. Yep. Axon says, no, Ko, I won't shut up. They should respect the spirit of the original and not have this beginning where you are pointlessly thrust into fake combat. Just make it like Gothic start was and I'm okay with it. Oh, we'll see, okay, here, Axon. What you're saying is totally different. You're you're not saying it's not in the spirit of Gothic, it shouldn't get made. You're saying it's not in the spirit of Gothic and here's a way you could make it better. That's different. That's giving feedback. That's totally cool. The more feedback this game gets, the better. That's different. That's fair criticism. I'm talking about people that were saying like, Gothic 1 shouldn't be touched and and this remake shouldn't be made because it'll take away from the original and da da da. It's like, that that's the stuff I'm, I'm talking about. This game is gonna need a lot of feedback. I mean, to be a worthy successor, it's going to need a lot of Gothic 1 fans giving a lot of valid feedback, like you just did, for instance. Um, yeah. So, that, for the record, that is not what I was talking about. Criticism, and mo most importantly, constructive criticism is a completely different thing. 
But yeah, this is beautiful, dude. I'm loving seeing these environments like this. Like, if the combat, if they make the combat really toy, like if the combat, like I, dude, I'm totally down with a with a three way combat and everything. If if they do it properly and it's fun, I will say the little bit of combat I did so far, the camera was really shaky. I'm hoping that was just the first combat we did. Because if all combat has a camera that shaky, that's gonna, uh, I'm I'm not for that. Is there any way to play the demo? Yeah, if you have, if you own Gothic on Steam, or I think any Piranha Bytes game, I think you can even own like Elix, then you can download and play this for free. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joku, have a great night, buddy. See you later, Salmon Snake. Oh man, look at all this. Whew. Okay. Oster says, I had Elix and I got it. Cool. Gothic, Elix, or Risen? Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Oh, dude. Ugh. That's a lot of burned bodies. Oh, Lord. What's up, dude? This is Caden. Oh, awesome. I don't think Gomez will miss this. Hey. Oh, hello. I didn't hear you coming. I'm looking for, well, clues about last night's disaster. I see. Can I make this louder? No, the, the voices are a little low. Which obviously means this game shouldn't get remade. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I have to settle this soon. Gomez has little patience, and I have other, more urgent problems to attend to. What's your name, dude? So, you are... I'm Caden, guard of the Exchange Zone. This week I worked the morning shift, and this is Rufus. Well, what remains of him? He had to work the night shift, so as you can imagine, I feel particularly fortunate. Whoops. Now it's up to me to find out what the hell happened here, and try to recover what might still be useful for the old camp. What kind of problems do you have that are so urgent? Well, you see, in the old camp, you can never trust anyone, and even less of those who call you friend. Two of these friends, Cyrus and Betty, took advantage of the fact that I had to come here to steal from me a very valuable pendant. They know it's important to me, but they would sell their mother in order to get some ore in the black market. Hmm. What, what pendant? What does the pendant look like? You'll recognize it easily. It is made of metal and has the shape of the god Adonis. No incrustations, no jewelry, no magical powers. It doesn't have much value. Clearly. I just keep looking at that sword. <laughs> What's the reward? Okay, let's be clear. Oh wait, if there I were icons you, on that. What can you give me in return? Hmm. Hmm. A businessman. That's the attitude. I like you. Tell me, what are you looking for? Or what do you need? We can start there. Well, a decent sword would do me good. A weapon that is easy to obtain and has no owner, if you know what I mean. Oh, I understand. Okay. I won't tell Gomez anything if you don't tell anyone about our little deal. Okay? Okay, we agree then. The pendant in exchange for the sword. By the way, where can I find Saris and Beric? They've gone to the woods near the bridge, I think. Be very careful. They are violent people. I like the dynamic camera during this conversation. Like the camera's orbiting around them and zooming in and changing perspective and it all actually looks okay while it does it. Kind of nice. Uh, we got a torch, a burned book, a royal beer. Now we're talking. All right, bud, you don't need this sword, do you? What do you think you're doing, rookie? Okay, I'm sorry. My mistake. It won't happen again. I mean, he's not using it, my man. I guess we got to do the quest first. Okay. Where's my inventory? Oh, I... Ooh. 
Oh, there's our stats. Five attack damage. Cool. Animal trophies. Miscellaneous. This inventory is pretty. Wow, that's worth a hundred ore. Please, dude. Consumables. Clearly says what they do super easily. Nice. Quest items. Okay. I'll need a map. Buy or find one at the colony. Nice. Any release date for this? Dude, I don't even think they know if they're going to make it yet. Like, what you're looking at right now is just the prototype of a proof of concept. Like, this is this is as early as it gets in the game dev cycle. Like, they don't... They've, they've been very public about the fact they don't know if they're going to make this game. Uh, it all depends... Ooh. It all depends on if people like it or not. Oh, look at this. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice, man. I gotta admit, there's there's a lot of care in this for being just a proof of concept. Huh. I'm already sold on this, for the record. For people asking my opinion, I'm sold. I, I want this product to be made. I want it to be polished. I want to. I want them to get lots of feedback from Gothic fans and implement all of it. Um, I'm. I'm. I personally am already completely sold on this. Yeah. It's a take my money situation with me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, a lock pick. Here we go. A pick lock. Excuse me. A pick lock. Got to say it right. Trust me, it's THQ. They'll take your money. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's our sprint. Feels pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ant Antiman says a very good point. You gotta remember that Ko is very partial here. He plays games for a living and is way into these types of games specifically. Yes, that is a very good point to mention. My preferred type of game is an RPG. My most preferred type of game is first person RPG, like Outer Worlds, Deus Ex, that kind of thing. But these types of games come in a close second for me. So I, I am a huge fan of open world, go where you want, lots of side content. Like this is this is my bread and butter. It's also very important to mention that I played and loved the Gothic franchise. I played, I think, all of the Risens. I know. And I also just did recently a full playthrough of Elix, which I also really enjoyed. I think I was like one of the only casters on Twitch to do a full playthrough of Elix. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. These, these games are my jam. Um, yoink. I loved Elix. Dude, I'm actually looking forward to playing Elix again. I'm going to be playing a, a melee run. With a, with a, a melee magic run, I think, of Elix at some point in the future. Looking forward to it. When am I doing a Witcher series playthrough again? I'm not doing a Witcher series playthrough, but I am going to do a Witcher 3 playthrough, my second one ever, uh, before Cyberpunk 2077 next year. So very excited for that. It's going to be my second Witcher 3 playthrough ever. They had a door up one level by the edge of the map when you were heading back down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw the door. We could probably go pick lock it now that we have a pick lock. But we'll just poke around for now. Can I? Okay. I don't have a map yet, but can I track that quest? Let's see. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So maybe we do need to do that now. Let's poke around though. This is where this is where we ran through last night. Um when everything was getting destroyed. Do we have a weight system? My I don't see weight anywhere, which makes me really really happy. If they just let you pick up and Take everything. Oh, man. Yeah, one, one other thing to think about is if they were to make this game 
and it were to sell well enough, like we could see Gothic 2 and 3 reimagined. Like this this game, if it does go through, could be the beginning of like I'm sorry, a revitalization then. of the Gothic the franchise. Oh. <clears throat> oh. You. Caden sends you to kill me, right? Freaking bastard. Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh my. Press R to unsheath or sheath their equipped weapon. Press control to target nearest enemy. If your opponent completely runs out of stamina, you'll be punished by a penalty of a few seconds before your stamina begins to recover. During this penalty, only blocks and parries can be performed. If you block a heavy attack during this penalty period, you'll be stunned for a few seconds. Use your resources as efficiently as possible. Parrying can be used against most humanoid enemies. Performing a parry at the right moment can deflect an enemy's attack and leave them stunned and vulnerable. Let's do it, boys. Like that. The camera is really... The combat system, I'm actually kind of digging. Little for honory. But the, uh, the the camera is very weird in this mode. It gets really shaky. And I don't think it needs to do that. Boom! I have to say, though, that the system itself is pretty cool. Oh, he's stunned. No, well, no. Woo! is like either really good or I'm just terrible. I'm more likely to believe I'm terrible. There it is. There it is. Oh! Uh-oh. 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 Yeah! Gotcha. Oh, wait. Don't kill me. Let's talk. Please. Oh, oh, for innocence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, boy. Thanks, chat. Thank you. Down the sword. Enough. I'm here to retrieve the pendant you stole from Caden. That's all. Oh, I gotta order a pizza. What's <laughs> so funny? Do you really believe that son of a bitch's story? A pendant we stole from Caden. <laughs> Look, boy, he sold you a pup. You're losing a lot of blood, man. You should tend that wound. Yeah, you're right. I'll go to the river to clean it. However, I don't think I can survive without any medication or painkiller. But I don't have the strength or energy to look for it. All right, I'll see what I can do. I know I'm not in a position to ask you any favor. But if you help me, I'll be able to escape to the new camp where Caden won't find me. And in the future, I'll be able to return the favor. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll wait for you on the riverbank. And please don't be late. I need those medicines fast, or I don't think I'll get out of it. Cool. Okay. So we got it. Whoa. Press I to open inventory. Okay. Covered in blood, the note describes a set of objects and their numbering and has a sketch of a face at the bottom. Oh, 
okay. I feel like that's a hint. Okay, cool. Hmm. Now, do we have a health thing for him? We got royal beer. We got some blueberries. I, I, we need to get like some kind of actual healing item for him. I'm not seeing any weight associated with items, which makes me really, really happy. I really hope they plan on keeping it so we can just loot as much as we want and carry it all with us all the time. That'd be kind of fantastic. I also really want to get a map of this area. I wonder how big this place is. Do I have a hot bar? I don't I don't think I have a hot bar, so I wonder how Oh wait, I got a quick wheel. That's right. So how do I how do I put things on my quick wheel? Because I want to put my consumables on my quick wheel. Equip. Ah ha ha! Cool. Oh, how do I, how do I, wait, what, how do I, oh, we have to, okay, okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll do, oh, oh God. Yeah, there's no mouse in this menu, which is a little bit weird. Another, another, like, clearly this is designed for controller. Um, okay, equip there. Okay. Go back with escape and go to here and equip this to here and then go back and now there's an e next to them which says they're equipped that's pretty cool uh then we're gonna bring some beer here i'm gonna go back to here and then we can just go boop. oh god that's buggy oh i have to hit e after it okay okay then what oh god what did i just drink two beers oh god have to go back okay cool cool Little janky, but it's a prototype. It's fine. Oh, cooking! You can cook your own meals? You can find some recipes hidden in the environment or can learn some from trainers. That's cool. Okay. Ooh, what's all this stuff? Are they asleep? How do I save my game? <laughs> there we go, okay. Hi. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, they got him. They got to work on this combat camera. Way, way too janky. I do like the system, though. I'm on board with that. Oh, take all. It's just space. Okay, great. That'll make that easy. Do we know what time Coast plans to swap to PoE? Uh, pretty much as soon as this demo is is coming to a, an end. I don't know when that's gonna be, but that. Oh, an arrow? Oh, can we get a bow? I wonder what that's like. A meat bug drops bug meat. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Pretty sure it was like that way in Gothic, too. Also, they call them pick locks, not lock picks. It's like, come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, dude, that's one of them monster thingies. Uh, I need to use, like... How are we doing? 
What's my health? Ah, there we go. Much better. Okay, so I may be going off the beaten path a bit much. I'm guessing, like, the pendant's back in the starting area, and I'm just being a dink right now. Um... Dude, look at this place. That ass. Take all that. Rotten meat. I like that it, uh, the new item stuff too. Any oh, there's that thing. Oh, wait a second. The pendant's over here, right? This big golden belly sign. Where have I seen this before? Yeah, boy. Oh. Pick lock. Nice. Ooh, Cadence pendant, pendant. Secret stash info. A pickaxe. Arrow or nugget and a port. Cool, cool, cool. Secret stash note. Hmm. Hmm. Take a look at that note. This is what I was able to save from the fire. Take it to the stash and don't let the books get wet. By the way, I also left there the sword I told you about. Why? And I like... Wait. Are there any hints on where this thing is? I don't... Was was that the secret stat? We didn't get a sword in that, so I don't think it was that. Unless, is there a sword nearby? I don't think so. Interesting. Okay. There was a drawing of a Y. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know if that was a, a hint or if that was a signature. It definitely looks like some kind of Y with grass or a fire under it. What do you think that is? Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something around here that gives us a hint? Let's see if there's anything up here. It's very bright. It is very bright. Look at the tree. I yeah, I, that's one of the first things I looked at. Maybe the branches of a tree, but I don't I don't think it's that. I'm really liking this level design so far, too. It's very pretty. Uh, what's up here? I definitely see something through that wall. Do you guys see that right above my right shoulder? Is that a corpse that I haven't looted? Is that what that is? Oh, this is Diego's camp area. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Right now we know where this is. Two rivers or two roads meeting together. Could be. Good call. Yeah, it is a corpse I haven't looted yet. Or, wait. Nope, I think it's just bugged. Which is funny, because it is a bug. Both literally and figuratively. Hmm. Something down this way? Oh! Damn some wolves. And damn just look hungry. Well, maybe not that right now. Although I do have all my health back. Mm. Oh, oh, you know what? We got the pendant. Let's maybe uh oh. <gasps> There's falling damage. No! Well, it was a good run, chat. It was a good run. Yeah. Hmm. 
Is there swimming? We'll check. Oh, look at this. Continue quest or complete quest? Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been helped to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow, that was fast. Okay, tell me, did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. It wasn't easy to get back. Good boy. I knew I could trust you from the first moment I saw you. By the way, did you have problems with Saros and Bedig? What happened to them? Saris is alive. Uh, Berig was already dead, but Saris wasn't. After talking to him, I decided to spare his life. Berig was already dead, but Saris wasn't. After talking to him, I decided to spare his life. You did what? No, no, no. Saurus was supposed to die too. This happens because I trust amateurs who don't know how to do their job. Ah, at least you got the pendant back. Something is better than nothing. What a rude. You will have to get used to making difficult choices if you want to survive in the colony. These kinds of mistakes are disappointing. Now you can take the sword and get the hell out of here. Oh, we're getting a real sword. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, let's see how much better a real sword is. Ten. It's double the damage. The The metal in this sword is suffered through a fire explosion and spending a night inside a human body. Neither has done it any favors. A long sword seriously affected by fire. Its attack capability and damage output are reduced. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't make me angry. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. My bad, bro. My bad. Damn. He, he immediately took out his sword and was like, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Madaka says, the pendant was a key to a stash with a much better sword. Well, of course it was. Thankfully, I got lockpicks. Right, 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 right. It's got a lot of health. Put this thing away. Nope. Oh, you hit hard. <laughs> okay, so some enemies are really, really difficult. Um. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I should have. I should have been hinted at by that head bar or that uh that bar above his head. Like clearly that was uh. Clearly that was a little indicator. Let's go see if we can take those wolves. Whoa! Did I just take that going through the fire? Jesus, dude. What about the bleeding guy? Oh, yeah, the bleeding guy. Whoops. Okay. He's probably dead already. Oh, God. That is a lot more damage. Damn, I thought I was starting. Oh, God. Okay, this is actually pretty hard with Mulder. I think I see the attacks of all enemies, right? Do I? Or is it only the one I'm targeting? Wow, that guy's just like... Oh, 
Dude, he jumped on from behind. Ow. Okay, yeah, multi-combat multi is still going to be really tough. I could do all sorts of other things, so like dash and all sorts of things. But... I'm sold on that. Like, I... I that's cool. Uh, that, that's just like the, the other demo. That's basically all I need to see. Like, I saw all the major mechanics. I'm sold on that. That's awesome.